In 2020, Fallout 76 skipped Halloween, leaving its players feeling tricked instead of treated. Instead, the Bombs Dropped event took the place of Mischief Night. This year, Fallout 76 is bringing back the spooks with the new Spooky Scorched event, as well as the Bombs Dropped event later this week. For this video, I want to share a brief overview of the event, the rewards, and the best places to spawn the Spooky Scorched. Before I continue this video, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit the sub bell for future video and stream notifications. The event itself has players searching for Spooky Scorched, which are dressed in Halloween costumes and dropped Halloween themed rewards. These special Scorched, like the Treasure Hunter Mole Miners, always spawn as legendaries, have a special sound cue when you get near them, and drop common, uncommon, and rare rewards. Both rewards from the old Mischief Knight and current Spooky Scorched events can drop as they are considered uncommon and rare respectively. Each Spooky Scorch drops a Mystery Candy, which provides a random stat boost, a Spooky Treat Bag, which has a random consumable and a chance at an event reward, and a legendary item. The Mystery Candy, which can also be purchased from vendors, can be handed out to other players using the free candy bowl in the Atomic Shop. Any player that is wearing a costume can grab one candy per bowl per hour. The Spooky Treat Bag can be opened to get common rewards like consumables, uncommon rewards from Mischief Knight, and rare rewards from Spooky Scorched. Other than the Mischief Knight rewards, the Spooky Scorch rewards will be the meat of the grind for the event. They include a Grim Reaper Vault Boy cutout plan, pumpkin and pumpkin stand plans, costume plans, and loose costume pieces. These items cannot be sold unfortunately. The treat bag should also drop the ammo used to kill the Spooky Scorched, random aid items, candy, drinks, and grenades. As far as I know, the Spooky Scorch spawn anywhere where Scorch can spawn, which is literally everywhere. There are many locations where Scorch usually are always present, so I will list those on screen now. None of these are in any particular order, but are guaranteed to have Scorch there all the time. In order to get this video out as soon as possible, I will be skipping the testing phase until after the video releases. Instead, I will leave a pinned comment on this video sharing my results. Since the Scorch can literally spawn everywhere, the same tests I did for the treasure hunters would take too long for the Spooky Scorched. If you have location suggestions or some helpful results on a location, please let me know in the comment section. That should be everything you need to know about Fallout 76's Spooky Scorched event. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit the sub bell for future video and stream notifications.